Hi, little Isaac. Grandma Suzanne here. Uh, my hair's a little wet. Just got out of the shower. Um, and I'm going to read you a book. Um, but first, I thought, why don't I just practice my whistling? Okay, here goes. Uh oh, maybe first thing in the morning. Well, not that it's first thing in the morning, but first time I'm whistling this morning. I'll practice off camera. It's not coming very well. Okay, but I can read. Rivka takes a bow. That's a cute little girl. Betty Rosenberg Perlov, illustrated by Kose Kawa. Oh, this looks like a lovely book. The cover is going to show a bit of glare. So let me go right into the front page. Yes, because we're seeing a nice picture with confetti on the stage and oh it's exciting to my parents israel rosenberg and vera rosenko my children susanna and daniel and their spouses and their children okay rifka takes a bow here we come i'm going to sit this way so that you can see it if this might hey malcolm want to come read with us my little guy, Malcolm, just came in. Now, that's a curious picture right off the bat. Very curious. Papa pastes on a brown curly mustache and picks up a cane. Mama puts on a wig. She bends over when she walks. Suddenly, oh, your mom texted. They are an old man and an old lady. I can hardly recognize them. Mama and Papa are actors in the British theater. Oh, sorry. I was just reading the email from you, or the text from your mom. That was very rude. Reading is reading, and I shouldn't do that. Okay. So, back to the story. Her Mama and Papa are actors in the Yiddish theater. Here they are. Very fun pictures. Sometimes they take me with them to work. We ride subway train, the subway train in noisy dark tunnels under the sidewalks. When we get off at Union Square, we walk up a lot of steps to the street. I am always glad to see the sky. On the way to the theater, we stop at the automat for a snack. There are little boxes in the walls with glass windows that let you see the food. I always get cherry pie. I slide my nickel into the slot and the window opens. After I take out my pie, someone behind the wall puts another piece there for the next customer. I'm going to pause for just one moment. I don't know if they still have the automat, but when I was a little girl, in fifth grade, we went to New York City, and one of the most exciting things of the whole three or four day trip was the automat. You put a little coin in, and it, it moves around, and you take out the thing. It was very cool. I suppose for kids nowadays, maybe that kind of automation isn't exactly thrilling, but it sure was then, because look at it. It was like that, just rows and rows of little choices of food. Back to the story. Yiddish theaters line each side of 2nd Avenue. Mama and Papa work at the Grand. When we arrive, first we go to their dressing rooms backstage. This is where we put on, sorry, this is where they put on their costumes and makeup. Sometimes Mama dresses up like a little girl with two long braids tied with big red bows. One time she was supposed to be a boy, so she put on short pants and pushed all her pretty hair into a cap. She looked just like the boy who lives downstairs. I'm going to pause this story because there's big news on right now. Do you mind if I pause and come right back? I'll practice my whistling and maybe it'll get a little bit better. One more time. A little better. Intermission, I will be back. <laughs> 